Hey, SDN with me, Shubham from Blender File, and this is the node concept going on. And today we have is the subsurface scattering node. So let's begin. Open up new blend file, and I'm gonna do is delete the lamp. Well, no, not not delete it. I'll change it to a point lamp and bring it over here and the border. And I'm gonna turn down the world strength to zero and bring this up. Node editor. Mm. And now let's begin. Uh, select the default cube, use nodes, and it's working. Okay, and shift S shader subsurface scattering. There it is. So I'm gonna bring this down and increase the strength to something like that. And shift Z. Now you can see it's really looking mm, well, not that nice. Okay, so uh, subsurface scattering. The first thing is the fall off. So there are three kind of fall off. There is the cubic and Gaussian and this new one which is oops, Christensen Burley yeah Christensen Burley okay uh, so the cube gives a sharp fall off and well there is not much of a difference that you can notice from here and then there is Gaussian which is a bit smoother than the cubic if you can see a difference I don't know I don't see you can see uh, well I see there is small line over here of grease and that is more smoother in his just a slight curvy looking thing and next is the Christensen Burley I don't know how to pronounce it it's Christensen yeah Christensen Burley okay and it's more smoother than the Gaussian one so you can see its smoothness on the fall off more scattering and less scattering near the thing okay and then you have the color you now Give the color to the scattering. That's a bad looking color. Uh, let's see. Mm, let's see if it like that. Okay. And next is the scale. So, uh, scale is affected on the radius. And for example, if you have a radius of 1 and a scale of 1, then this is the result you'll get. And putting a scale of 2 will double the distance with more subsurface scattering. I'll just increase the size of this. Okay, now you can see the difference. So a scale of one, real small, and scale of two, a bit you know, coming down. So the uh, scale is actually bounded by the radius, and um, well, the radius is you know kind of a limit, a basic unit of limit, uh, something like you know, quantized thing. How am I supposed to say that? Uh, well, it's like it's like a basic unit of scaling. So, for example, if you have a radius of two and a scale of one, it will give the same result as radius of one and scale of two. So, uh, if you want to compare them, I'll just show you. Boom! We have it. Okay, I'm um, just press this and I'm gonna turn down the scale to 2 and radius to 1. And in the second one, we have scale 1 and radius 2. Boom! They both give same result. So that's the relation between them. You know, radius is, no, scale is bounded by radius and radius is actually, you know, kind of a limiting thing that tells how big the radius of subsurface scattering will be at the scale of 1. I know you can just figure out the relation with use. Next thing is the texture blur. I'll just delete this thing. Okay. Hey, hey. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Okay. And you too. Messed up. Okay, uh, so the next thing is texture blur. Texture blur is used for blurring the texture on the surface, which is there. So, you know, for example, uh, in skin, there is quite a little subsurface scattering and texture of the skin is pretty much blurred well not pretty much it's slightly blurred and and uh, you won't notice uh, you know a sharp texture because uh, every time your skin is actually scattering light so it's very hard to imagine how a sharp texture will look like so uh, if you're using a skin 
texture from a image file you need to keep this at zero because skin texture is already having a the subsurface scattering the blurriness due to the subsurface scattering in real life but if you are making uh, materials procedurally then you need to keep a bigger value than that it won't affect uh, much away because it don't have a uh, rightish texture okay and then there is the normal uh, you know what's normal gonna do will be dealing with this uh, once we are you know using the vectors so Okay, uh, yeah, I forgot one more thing, which is in the cubic. Ah, that was... Okay, in the cubic, there is a sharpness value, and it's pretty much, you know, functions opposite to what it shows. So, a sharpness of 1 is actually smoothing out the subsurface, uh, the scattering, and it allows the light to penetrate more deep into the surface, and then reflect back or scatter along any direction and the sharpness of zero will keep it really sharp and you know pointy the edges will be pointy and at some places dark dark places you'll see and increasing the sharpness actually decreases that and makes the scattering more smooth and yeah so that's basically it for this tutorial I hope liked it and if you have a query or a suggestion do leave it in the comment section and subscribe to stay updated with our next coming tutorials and you can also follow us on facebook at facebook.com slash blendfiles so see you in our next video and happy blending